I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Justin, thank you so much for joining me here on the Valder Beebe Show. It's almost Christmas. It almost is. It has toy <laughs> trucks always the start of the season. It is. I'm so glad. I want my audience to know I've got Justin Meyer. He's here today to represent Hess Toy Trucks. You remember those trucks, don't guys? Don't you guys act like you don't remember? I remember my my brother getting those. Justin, has it changed? Are we still enamored with it? <laughs> we are still enamored with it. It's still one of the most popular toys sold every year, and it's only sold for a very short period of time every holiday season. Okay, and I heard that you have two fine examples. Well, what I have with me today is the Hess Toy Truck for 2017, which is our first ever dump truck, the classic kids' toy. And it comes with a, a its construction partner that we call the loader. Uh, I have them in front of me um, with hydraulic lifts and really cool self-powered action. These uh, construction duos are really the most complicated toy we've ever done. It's 350 parts and it's packed with sounds and lights and all sorts of motors, so it's tons of fun for the kids. Okay, you guys are a 53-year-old strong top-selling toy. How do you do that? I think it comes down to two, two real things. One is you got to bring something each and every year that's better than ever, and we take that mission very seriously. So with more lights or more sounds or more motors or more parts, uh, bigger, better, uh, and durable, right? So we always make sure that it's durable. And the last thing is value. This is a $33 toy, and you don't get this kind of quality and detail and play fun for $33 anywhere, especially one that's durable enough to last for generations, because we still have kids bringing out ones from, when, they're not kids anymore, but when they got in the 70s, grandpa's bringing it out now for their grandkids to play with, and it still is as durable now as it was then. It is. Every time I do see your trucks, and I've seen them at uh, like mall displays during the holidays and things like that. I revert to being six, seven, eight years old because I remember I didn't get a truck, but my brother got a truck. And I'm thinking that's not, you know, it's the 21st century. That's not fair now. But I still remember. Yeah, well, we, we do know that it's a big family tradition for many. And it's not just the sons that get them or grandsons. You know, they, the girls love to get these toys as well. My daughter, I have a seven-year-old daughter. She loves to play with the toys as much as my son, who, who's just a bit older. And they love to bring out all the old models along with the new one and explore what's new and different and create this whole imagination world of vehicles. Because we've done everything from construction vehicles to boats and space planes and race cars. And so it's just a ton of, of traditional toy play for kids in a world that's become very digital. And my audience continues to tell me that they're preparing for the holidays because, you know, that comes earlier and earlier and earlier. Sure does. I think this should be at the top of their list. What do you think? Well, I think it, it better be because we sell out very quickly <laughs> every year. And so I always feel bad when we're sitting here, you know, at the end of November, early December, and folks can't get them because we're sold out and they're, and they're sorry that they didn't act sooner. So definitely put it at the top of the list. Let me ask you just one thing before I let you sure. go. You know, you, you have this job to represent this product. I think you're the general manager of uh, toy trucks, at, if I'm correct, That's something right. like that. Yeah. Anyway, you know, how, how, how good is it to, to have this job? You know, I'm really honored to be able to continue the legacy of this amazing brand and the amazing product. It feels a little bit like being Santa every year. We kind of go into our workshop for a year. Uh, I imagine, you know, a lot of elves with us, and we, we come forward with a great, amazing product that we know is a really important family tradition for so many people. And so I'm really honored to be part of that. Well, I use mine for decorations. Kids are gone, but I still decorate with mine. So you guys are on track with what you're doing. Thank you for continuing to do this. So many traditions kind of fall by the wayside, and this is something that 
especially us baby boomers, we can relate to. Justin, thank you for being my guest this morning on the Valder BB Show. And help me take a walk down memory lane. I hope it did that for my audience also. Thanks so much. Have a great holiday season. The same to you.